Hi everyone, this is Susie and I'd like to share with you a beautiful project that I made today using several products from Shabby is Chic Boutique. Okay, so this is what I did. Um, I had this really cute little box that I had bought probably in Michael's Craft Store a while ago. And I'm sure many of you have seen them there. They're the ones with a little piece of glass on top. And sometimes when I used to see them, I was like, nah, what am I going to do with that? There's a hole on top. I can't really use the top of the box. But I wound up buying it anyway. And when I was looking for something to make, I said, let me use this box. It's kind of cute. It's very small. It's cute. So um, I painted the box like a pinkish color, a pale pink, like a light buff pink. Not bubble gum, but a buff pink. And then this is a very large piece from Shabby is Chic Boutique. It's a really large piece. I'll place the name of it in the drop down box below in case you'd like to go over to the store and see it yourself. Um, I had placed that piece up on top and cut different sections of it so that I can use the piece in its entirety. And um, once I had done that, I used the uh, pink flatback pearls on the bottom. They're small, but they're very pretty and dainty. And um, getting to the top of the box, I'm just I'm using a an iPad, iPod, tripod. <laughs> so sorry for the shaking. And so I'm um, getting back to this um, for the closure. I had removed the little gold clasp that it comes with. And I used one of the um, store's uh, flat back rhinestone and pearl item. It's very, very pretty. I would definitely use it for a flower center. But I wanted like some type of focal point on the very front of the box. And I just scattered a few pearls down here and some rhinestones to give it some contrast so it doesn't look too pink. And um, on the side here, I made one of those bows that um, it has like three ties on one side and three on the other and uh, the center of the bow has some flowers and little pearls in there and if you can see ever so slightly is that really great trim that Amy carries in her shop that's like um, iridescent pearls on a fishing wire almost it's very sheer so it kind of looks like um, the pearls are flowing around and that was exactly the look I was going for so as you can see here um, I don't want to get too close uh, that I have that going all around the top kind of looks like almost like a netting or a hair old-fashioned hair piece in that way so I'm just going to finish showing you the rest here and you can see um, I have made one of my um, pink handmade paper roses. It's very large. It's about two and a half inches. And I put some other little mulberry paper flowers around. And then this um, pale green crystal that you see here is also on a wire. I got that from Hobby Lobby with some other scattered pearls that I have there with this gorgeous rhinestone and pearl crown. Just fell in love with that. And I was actually supposed to show this on a previous project, uh, but I never finished the box. So um, now that it's finished, I'm sharing with you. And you see I have it on the wire here just cascading around. I like doing that in my projects. And here is a nice piece of this beautiful trim that she sent me as well. And I just ruffled that up with needle and thread and used it as a behind it just to kind of hang over give it that little bit of a very feminine flair little flower here and you can see the point of the trim there peeking out and there's the top of the box there's another big flower here that's a mulberry flower and then you can see that it's not all tacked down I purposely did that because I wanted to give it that kind of loose flimsy really pretty feminine look um, and this is my seam binding cameo beige it's like a very pale pink it's my favorite one I have it a long time in fact and I use it all the time I really need to buy a new roll um, and then when you when you open the box here to tack on this I use Fabri-Tac hot glue and a tiny drop of 
E6000 just to make sure that the crown sticks. When you open the box, you can see that the glass is there, and I love that you can peek through and see the lace. So what I would like to do is put one of those little tiny operating candles, battery op candles in there, and just have it peek out ever so slightly from the top there. So that'll look really, really pretty. It is definitely a super, super sweet, cute little box with a big statement. Um, I think that it's definitely um, shabby chic, but it's also, uh, it's very, very feminine. I just love it. Um, I would like to keep this one for myself because sometimes visitors and friends, whoever comes, oh, I love that, I love that, I love that. So I wind up giving things away. And now that my room is completely packed with so many things, I don't really care who comes and takes stuff. So, but, um, yeah, that's really it. I just wanted to share with you uh, that uh, project that I had made. And just so that you guys all know, um, I had taken a small hiatus from crafting. I am making a few videos uh, just to keep up with my friends on YouTube. And maybe I'll try to release like one every now and then. But I have a lot of things going on, very busy. And I didn't want to lose track of anything that um, I needed to post. So um, I uh, wanted to make sure that I just mentioned to you guys in case you don't see me for a little while here and there. Everything is okay, just very, very busy. Um, I, um, I am still doing projects for Amy over at Shabby is Chic Boutique from time to time. Um, so, uh, but I don't have, um, a designated date when I'll be sharing with you, uh, the exact, uh, time of the month that I would be sharing a project to show you what I've created using her beautiful products from her store on Facebook. But please know that you'll see me from time to time sharing lovely items from, uh, my projects and sharing beautiful uh, products from Amy's store. Sorry for the slow chat. It's, it's morning and I'm super tired and I'm, I'm actually running out soon, but I wanted to make sure that I got this video in just to share with you and show you all the beautiful things. I really hope that you love seeing the box. I'll just bring it a little bit closer a second time around so that you can see that, that flat back button. It's so beautiful. Look at that. So, so shimmery. I love it. And the flower came out pretty, and I was rushing to make this one, too, because I wanted, like, a big statement on top of a small box next to this crown. So I think I achieved that. And I just, I love it that you can open the box and see this really sexy lace, you know, dripping off of the sides. Romantic. A little bit of feminine flair on a box. So... Thanks so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. Hope you love seeing what I've created. And there's more information in the drop-down box below. So hit the Show More button and check it out. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.